This video will demonstrate how to install and configure an Unleashed network using the AP Gateway mode. Before starting, after receiving your Unleashed AP, attach an Ethernet cable to your AP and plug it into your internet router. And attach a DC power cord or plug the PoE port of the AP into the PoE enabled switch and then boot up the AP. As a note, if your AP has been used for other controllers, you'll need to do a factory reset and make sure the Unleashed code is manually installed on it. After booting up, when the power LED is solid green and the control or DIR LED is blinking green, the AP is ready to configure. At this point, it will broadcast a configure.me SSID with the last six hex digits of the AP's MAC address. So what I'll want to do is to connect to that. So I'll go to my wireless LANs and I'll connect to configure.me and then I'll go to unleash.ruckuswireless.com. So this is going to bring me to the wizard setup for Unleashed, and I have five menus that I'll go through, System, IP Setting, Wireless LAN, Administration, and Review. So under System, it'll have Language, so we'll take the default English, and then it'll be a system name. By default, it's called Ruckus-Unleashed, and I'm going to call this Awani Unleashed Gateway, and you can't have any spaces between the words. I'm going to Enable Mesh. So it'll give me a mesh name and a mesh passphrase. Then I will hit next. And this will take me to the IP setting. By default, it comes up in the IP mode, which is dynamic DHCP, but I'm going to select the gateway mode. So I'm going to enable the gateway. And in this configuration, the AP is going to be sitting in between your LAN and your WAN connection. All traffic will go through this AP and the AP will do the DHCP server functions as well as NAT and other master functions. Once you enable it, you have a choice to choose which port will be your wireless LAN. To select wireless LAN, we have an option of port 1 or port 2. Since I have an R600 here, port 2 will be my WAN port, and port 1, which is my PoE port, will be my LAN port. DHCP server is enabled, and NAT is enabled. It automatically assigns me a LAN port IP of a Class B address of 10.10.0.1. And it has a starting IP address of 10.10.0.2 through 10.10.7.209. So you have nearly 2,000 IP addresses available as part of this pool. You can adjust the lease time anywhere from 12 hours, which is default, up to two weeks. So I'll go ahead and select one day. And then we will hit next. This brings me to my wireless LAN menu. So I'm going to give the SSID a name. And in this case, I'm going to call it Awani Art. Studio, and I'll put a GW after that for Gateway. Password Protect is recommended, WPA2, so I'll give it a simple password for this example. Normally you'd have a more sophisticated password, but this is just a demo. Then I'll hit Next. Then I come to the Administration page. This is the username and password that you'll use when you log on to your Unleashed dashboard. So I'll leave the admin for username, and I'll put in a simple password, and then confirm that, and then I'll hit Next. This brings me to my review page so I can review what I've just entered. So I have the system name, the internal gateway is enabled, the IP mode is dynamic DHCP, gives me the name of my wireless LAN, my admin username, I can show my password if I want to, turn that off, mesh is enabled, and system time. Now if I wanted to go back and change any of this, I could hit the back button, but I'll go ahead and hit finish. Comes up with a notice, Unleash will restart after you click OK. This will take a few minutes. Do you want to continue? So I'll hit OK. And now it says configuring the system settings and rebooting, and it's going to take a few minutes to do this. Then it gives me a warning, and it says do not power off or reboot the AP, and do not refresh your browser or hit the browser back button. So I'm going to pause the recording until this finishes. And after about five minutes, you'll get a congratulations that your Unleashed Master is now configured. So what should I do next? So it says connect to the Awani Art Studio GW SSID, and it says it may take a few minutes for this to appear. Once the AP has finished provisioning itself, the 2.4 and the 5 GHz LEDs will go amber, and that'll indicate that the SSID is being broadcast. So before I connect to my UnleashedRuckusWireless.com, I want to go down to my wireless LANs, and I'll select the network that we just configured. This is the Awani Art Studio GW. I'm going to connect to that. It's going to ask for the password. I'll click OK. And if I go back and look, it should be logged in. And so now we are connected to Awani Art Studio GW. 
So now, if I log into unleash.ruckuswireless.com, it should take me to the Unleash dashboard. And there we go. So I'll type in my username, which is admin. I'll type in the password, and I'll click on Unleashed. And that will bring me up to the Unleashed wireless dashboard. Then it brings up a menu asking me if I want to register. And you say, well, why should I register? Well, it will help you in any support call to resolve your case faster. And the support contract registration will enable you to update to a newer software version. Now, because it's a demo, I'm not going to register, so I'll skip it. And we can come back to this later and register. And it'll ask me again if I want to skip. And so now I've arrived at my Unleashed dashboard. You'll notice up here that it says Unleashed mobile app is now available for iOS and Android devices. So you can do this configuration on a mobile device as well. If I go to my administration services, we'll see under my system information, it gives me the system name, it gives me the system version. You'll notice that it's 200.5, so that's the starting software version number. And it gives me some other information that I have. If I click on IP settings, what you'll see is the same information that we set up in the wizard. And from this point on, you can use the dashboard to install and configure additional access points, monitor clients, do administration services, and so forth. So in summary, this is just a short video to show you how to install and configure an Unleashed network using the access point gateway mode.